long road to this point in the season, but we are officially down to two. It's game one of the World Series. Let's take a look at how these two ball clubs got to where they are. Yeah, and top to bottom, I think both of these clubs have a lot of different guys that can beat you. It might not just be the stars that dominate this series. It wouldn't surprise me a bit if some of the lesser known guys here wind up stealing the show. It's the moment these players have been waiting for. Game one of the Fall Classic is on the show. And it's coming up next. More from the guys as this one goes along. But first, let's have a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Texas Rangers as they'll align themselves like this here tonight. They'll match up against the MVP of the 2013 NLCS, the very difficult to solve right-hander Michael Waka. Nori Aoki will stand in for Here's Waka now 2-0. And this is lined back into center field, and he's on to start the ball game. It's a base hit. Rupnit Odor. Get into better hitters' counts. They're going to see more fastballs, and that plays to your advantage as a hitter. You want fastballs and fastball counts. On to first, not in time, as the umpire was right there to make the call. He's set, now the pitch. Got him. Fooled on the pitch as he swings at it in the dirt for strike three. Josh Hamilton will stand in now for... He just seemed a little overmatched in the games that we've watched. It looks like he's just trying too hard, and sometimes that just puts more pressure on him. And he'll pull this one down a step or two in front of the warning track, and the inning is over. Now the starting lineup for the Cardinals looks like this. They'll go to work against the most valuable player from the 2008 World Series, the change-up specialist, left-hander Cole Hamels. John Jay will step in now to lead for a strike. I mean, if it's around the plate and he's getting guys to go after it, it's doing its job. But if he starts to get too high or too far outside, then it's just an easy take. Number 34. First pitch on the way. On the ground to third. There's one. On to Goldschmidt, a double play. Matt Carpenter will come on now. And, wow. and a swing and a miss is all he could do was reach out in vain for that one, and the side is retired. Adrian will count pitch on its way. And that misses for ball four, so it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. 2-2 pitch on the way. Swing and a miss there as the breaking ball takes care of him for the first out. Jonathan. First pitch coming. Now here's a ball hit sharply toward the right side. And that'll get down for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Jump ahead. He's ready now. The pitch. Ball swung on and lifted in the air with some carry out towards left center. Jay falls off the left fielder as he takes charge for the second out. Cole Hamels. The step pitcher swing in the bat as it is. How about having to deal with pitches? And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Sets the 2-2 pitch. Got him. Colton Wong. Here he comes on two and two. And he gets some pretty good wood on it here as this is lifted to fairly deep left. Gallo is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. Now another one, two. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called. And the inning is over. So Hamels had it work in that half of the inning. Waka delivering a one, one. Now a ball hit hard toward first. But this is gloved over there at first as he was in the right spot at the right time. One away. The 2-2. Out in front as this is in the air toward deep right field. 
And this is hauled in just shy of the track out there for out number two. Paul Goldschmidt with the pitch. Now this is swung on, and here's another fly ball out to right field. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he's in there safely. He's got a double. Center fielder number 32. Josh Hamilton. Here's the 2-2 two and two offering. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground at first. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Matt. Rip out. And he reaches for one out of the zone and misses rather badly for the first out that makes him so tough to hit. The ability to put his pitches right on the black. Yeah, I mean, you watch the catcher's glove on some of these, and it literally does not move. That's how good his stuff is. Michael. Yeah, this has been total domination these past few innings. They haven't been able to mount any kind of threat. What's and sorry to interrupt, but the play has been made for the third out, inning over. Now the first pitch. Now he jams him here as this is flared right back over the mound. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. Joey Gallo. The Rangers so far. Struck him out, but he'll try for first on the drop third strike. Throw to first will take care of him. Score it two to three on the put out, and there are two gone now. Four innings. And it's been real effective for him, and that's another example right there. Now a swing and a bouncing ball toward the hole. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. John Jay will... Now here's the pitch. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground is short. On to first is Escobar, one away. Number 34. Try to outthink him up there. Just... Get a good pitch and square it up. And here's a swing and another chance out there is short. Throw on to first and Hamels has retired the first two in the inning. Down on strikes his first time. He goes the other way as this is hit well out toward deep left field. Gallo will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Alcides Escobar. Get the pitcher into the stretch, get him out of his comfort zone. Then maybe your offense can go from there. Pitch in the dirt is swung on and missed, so he'll need to get the force at first. Throw on to first is in time to get him, so that'll go down as his first pitch on the way. And a swing as he pulls this one into right. And this is handled easily, so quickly two are gone here to start the fifth. Nori Aoki, here's the pitch. Now a hard liner toward short. And, oh, he got caught in between hops at short, and that kicks on by him. And he'll round it and try for third. The relay throw, and he is in there. Up next for the Rangers, Rukna Dodor. A few innings. you got to think about bringing that one right back. Now a swing as he shoots this one over to first. And they'll escape danger here after the two-out triple as the inning is over. And absolutely worn him down wing and he pops him up over toward foul territory and Beltray will take this one in for route number one Colton Wong now the pitch this is offered at in the dirt for strike three just needs to make that easy throw to first and indeed the throw will finish him off as they get the put out at first and there are two gone in steps Matt Holliday now a hard hit ball back up the middle. And Holiday has a base hit. Matt back into that dugout as fast as he can. And here's a ball hit in the air. And Escobar will make the catch, and that ends the inning. One left for the Cardinals. Behind 0-2 now. And this is swung on and missed, though the ball did hit the ground, so he'll need to go to first. And the throw will indeed take care of him for the first out. Even though he's pitching well, this is a part of the order that he's really got to worry about. They can turn a good outing into a bad one pretty darn quickly. 
throw in time at first for route number two. So two away if for they can keep this inning alive. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Rangers set down in order. Stiff the pitch. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. And that'll sneak on through into right for a leadoff single. Michael Walker by situation here. And here's the first pitch. And the pitcher is, in fact, bunting here as he puts this one down. Throw's going to go on to first, so a perfect sacrifice there is now the go-ahead run moves into scoring position here. Yeah, that's the put-away curveball. A great pitch with two strikes. You start it in the zone and then let it work out and see if he'll chase. Gallo will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And Goldschmidt will make the catch, and that ends the inning. Joey Gallo will come forward now. You get two starters that are on top of their game. It's been great pitching, great defense, not a lot of base runners, and very even game from six innings. Cardinals get the bullpen started here as a right-hander. Swing the bat to not be giving up walks at this stage of the game because those could be fatal. Jay will wait on it, and that's out number two. I'll see this now the 2-2 pitch. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Seen from this guy on the mound so far, when he makes bad pitches, they typically miss out of the strike zone. They don't miss in the zone where they can be crushed. And now this will get over the yeah. wall. Here comes a 1-2. Now a swing and a high fly ball, and this one has some carry on it to deep right field. And that's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from second? And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. Second base, one. Your job right here on the mound, got to think strikeout number one, ground ball number two. You can't leave anything up that can easily be a sack fly. And he will make the difficult catch out there as the runner will tag, but that could have been much worse. And the shutout will disappear on the sack. 73 for him in the ball game. And this is hit well towards the hole. Oh, and this kicks right off of him. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. You want to give this guy something where he can just roll over a ground ball and still get it into right field. Out in front as he pulls this one down the line at first. And this is by Goldschmidt down the line, a fair ball. Brings into action, a lefty and a right-hander are throwing down there. Here's a ball hit high down the right field line. This ball has a chance, and it is gone. Working early on suddenly is not working now. Oh, sorry to interrupt, but that's the third strike and the third out. Side is retired. Number seven is going to grab a bat now and pitch on the way. And, oh, that looked to catch him flush down near the foot or the ankle. And now, fortunately, they will get an out here. Nori Aoki. was about this guy. He'll show you that good breaking ball, but then he'll run that fastball up the ladder at 92, 93. Oh, and he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he may needing to really get something started here. And their chances of getting back into this ball game are growing dimmer by the batter. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. Now batting. Paul. From the belt, kicks and deals. Grounded to third. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Can't Jake Diekman is on out of the bullpen now as he'll take over to start the bottom of the eighth. A one. Now the pitch. And this is hit hard on the ground towards short. On to first is Escobar, one away. Number 34, the, the one one. Now a swing and a sharp ground ball to third. Up with it is Beltre. Throw gets him, two down. 
Matt Carpenter. First offering on the way. This is a hard hit ball back up the middle, and he's going to have his second hit tonight as it's into center field for a base hit. Matt Wieters, it's Joe Smith, will take over here with the runner at first and two gone in the inning. There, you're just conditioned to always look for something down. And hold that thought as that's a strikeout for route number three. So the inning will come to an end. Josh Hamilton and the pitch. And this pitch misses here. It's ball four. And they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. First pitch to him. He bounces this one sharply and through the hole into left field. It's a base hit. Joey Gallo will stand oh, in. Out there. The count is still well in your favor on the mound. And this is hit hard on the ground at first. To second for one. The relay back to the pitcher covering in time to double him up. Jonathan Lucroy will stand in now. Walker delivering a 1-1. In the dirt and block behind the plate. Must have been looking for that same breaking ball because that pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And that'll do it here as the ball game is over. One more look at the final line score there to see the great pitching performance that led his guys to the victory. What a great catch by Eric. San Francisco Giants for the third time in the last five years. And their hero, Madison Bumgarner. Two one. That is did to left field. Cespedes giving chase. Not going to get there. Falls in. Kendrick on his way to third. Cespedes bobbles it. DeSarcina waving Kendrick home. Here's the throw to the plate, and Howie is gunned down. What? With everyone standing at Dodger Stadium, Kershaw pitches. Carpenter swings and hits a drive. Right center field. It's in the gap. And it's down off the wall. Molina scores. Adams scores. Jay scores. Carpenter. He scores three with a double to right center. And the Cardinals lead 7-6. to six. What an at-bat by Carpenter. Now on three and two to Utley with Rollins leading from second. Here's the pitch from Beckett. 